I'm a geek. A geek is a wirehead. I, I live on a street in New York, Canal Street, and that's a street that has all of this junk, electronic junk. And so I go there, I get some junk, and I try to make it do something that it didn't do before. I'm a violinist, and I have a kind of horror of people who play like horns and things. Because putting your instrument in your mouth, I think is kind of disgusting, let's say. So, but I have a kind of fascination with that too. So some of the instruments I've made, I put it in my mouth. So I have a speaker and I, I made some violent things and then put them on the speaker so that the speaker's in your mouth and your cable coming out and you, and you can control the sound. So you're singing like a violin. One time, I was given an award, so I wanted to make a little speech, and I didn't want to use words, so I wanted to just go raw, raw, raw. Okay, so I put the speaker in my mouth, but it was an old speaker, and the speaker glued to the top of my mouth. And I was like, ha, oh, oh. ha. And I went to the drugstore, and I said, and I had a, it was one of these weird accidents, weird electronic accidents, you know? And the person on the drugstore said, oh, yeah, what's, you have a speaker in your mouth. What's going on? I'm a certified geek and I like to make things that, that people haven't seen before. So probably the last thing was I, um, I, collabor I collaborated with uh, uh, Mohamed El Garani, and he is the youngest detainee at Guantanamo, and he was my partner in a big project I did last month. We beamed him from West Africa into New York City and wrapped his live image onto a statue the size of the Lincoln Memorial, and he spoke to Americans. And Americans are like, oh, because Guantanamo, that's our gulag. It's, it was very hard to get a big signal, transatlantic a big visual signal like that, an audio coming like that live, because he's looking at you live. That the barriers between the music world and the world of culture would fall down a little bit more. So it would be great if those could break down and that's what music festivals are for and that's what things like this event are for, to try to see what does music have in common, all these different kinds of things. The other thing is um, institutions. So, for example, I'm thinking of Brian Eno doing a, um, he did a, a listening room, which it was uh, very beautiful in Brighton. And, then, and a, um, a surgeon came to the, this room and he said, oh, that is so great. I, it's so great to just stop. later that system was in a hospital in Brighton because the walls between music and hospitals are thinner. For, for the listener to be able to, um, let's say they just don't like what key it's in, they'll be able to make it into G instead of B flat. I would like that. If I'm more of a B flat mood, I'd like to be able to use my internal filters to change the music and adapt it to what I want. Mm -hmm.